Hi, I'm Claude from uh, Wilderness Skills. I'm going to talk about this uh, survival shelter from Life Systems. This small guy here. The size uh, of the shelter in the compression bag is about uh, 21 centimeters long and about 12 centimeters in uh, diameter. The size of the uh, shelter uh, when it's out is 154 centimeters times 154 centimeters and the height is 120 centimeters. Uh, some of the features on the shelter is uh, there is uh, one large uh, circular window on one of the sides. There are um, reflective tapes on each end. There is a uh, ventilation shaft here on the top and that is actually also the, uh, the carrying bag integrated into the shelter. There's a small drawstring here so you can close the ventilation totally off. Down here at the uh, bottom there are two areas in each side. The, uh, the black cloth here this is 100% waterproof where you can sit on uh, or place your, uh, uh, your backpack on top of it. So this helps keeping the shelter firm ar around your body. There is also a drawstring here um, where you can uh, tighten up the bottom of the shelter so this will uh, make like a small microclimate around you. All the seams on this shelter is taped so it is uh, practically 100% waterproof and windproof. But uh, let's see um, how it looks like uh, when crawl into uh, the shelter here. These types of shelters are more and more used by rescue guides, um, mountain guides and so on. Um, but also a lot of uh, persons are using them now for personal use um, when out backpacking. And it's like for example if you are walking in the woods or on a mountainside and it starts to rain and the wind might pick up also. Um, then you might think, ah, I can just uh, walk uh, these five or ten kilometers uh, to find me a really good shelter. Um, you might even be low on, uh, on energy and this is uh, where it gets really dangerous because now uh, hypothermia will start to creep up on you. Um, so instead of pressing on and, and uh, playing a tough guy, you can just well stop, uh, crawl into one of these shelters here, stay there for half an hour, um, make up coffee or some tea and you can even make uh, hot food in here and be out of the, the elements and this can really be a lifesaver and after using uh, this uh, a couple of times I just started wondering why didn't I use this uh, way 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 before. It is really really good to, to sit in one of these shelters as I said before it will make like a small microclimate and it will heat up really fast inside these uh, shelters here. When I'm looking at the good and the bad things about this shelter well my personal experience is that I would prefer to have two windows in the shelter um, so I can look out on each side. Um, then the size uh, of the bag when it's in the compression bag uh, it is quite big but again you have to think about it is a three uh, person shelter and you can easily fit three persons in here. Um, so uh, weighing uh, these things uh, against each other well I still think it's a really good idea to carry uh, this type of shelter even if it is uh, a little bit on the big side. The good things, well it only weighs 500 grams, um, you're totally protected from the elements, from the rain, from the wind. You have this, uh, these uh, black areas here on the both uh, ends of the shelter, uh, which will really help uh, to keep the shelter underneath you. Uh, you normally what we do uh, when we sit in these shelters is that we sit on our backpacks and then we have the shelter on top of us and uh, this one really helps to, to keep the shelter in place. Also we have the drawstring so you can really close the shelter around you. Now the good thing uh, is the reflective uh, tapes here so it's really easy to be seen during night time. And what I really do like about the shelter is that the uh, compression bag is integrated in the shelter 
uh, and used as a uh, ventilation shaft so uh, the bag will never blow away anything it is permanently fixed to the shelter I can only uh, advise you to, uh, to carry a shelter either this type or another type um, remember to uh, be aware of how many persons you're out um, it can be a lifesaver and after using this a couple of times I was just thinking why didn't I use this before um, it is really really nice to sit in this shelter it gets really cozy in there um, and again you're totally protected from the elements so I can I highly recommend you getting one of these shelters carried with you and try it out uh, just if you take a small hike just try it out and uh, sit in it and uh, you really appreciate the effect that the shelter gives you thank you for watching have a nice day